Okay, here we go. We're ready to race here at Hockenheim for the German Grand Prix. Green flag. Oh, terrible start for Stepan Oaks. Gotta cause a little bit of a jam up for Houston. To the race lead. Down in the turn two, I believe. Nick Kennedy. Oh, get in that curve. You know how dangerous that curve is. Oh, a little contact there. Stepan Oaks trying to defend second. There's Bouchard. We finished 10th at Silverstone. Now in third. Hoping the rebound. As he looks to the inside. Going for second. Not close enough to make a move. Riley Houston. Finishing third. Or finishing second three times. In the race lead. Could he win a race? The Haas F1 team did not win a race last season. Looking not to repeat that. And he'll lead the first lap. So far so good. Very clean. Kind of. We all know Stepan Oaks has had a terrible season. He just got his best finish at Silverstone. A sixth place, I believe. Today he starts on pole. His teammate starts in last. And there he goes. Yep, DRS is already available. And Stepan Oaks will retake the lead as Bouchard going for second. This time against Riley Houston. Can't complete the pass. Remains in the third. Nick Kennedy is in fourth, Alexander Rowe in fifth, Dexter Black, Blazy Vitar, Josh King, Kip Silverpoint, Charles Kirby. The rest of the top ten. That's right on board. With the with the eight car out of Houston. All right, this works. Gonna try to retake that lead. There he goes, and a clean pass. He gets him before entering the turn. Bouchard makes a move on the inside. He squeezes to get second. So far, Haas, Ferrari, Sauber. Three different teams in the top three. Here goes Nick Kennedy now going for third. And he takes it. Check out the point standings. Here's Blazy Vitar in sixth. He's gained three spots on the start. Extra Black here in seventh place. Josh King. Kip Silver Point. Charles Kirby. Mostly the same. Bouchard has DRS available to him. Let's see if he can take that lead away. We have it again here. Oh, this is a better place to pass. There he goes. And he takes the lead. Contact. Careful coming back up. Not a lot of damage. Not a big deal.
So as of now, Josh King is the points leader. He has a four-point lead over Ramian Fisher, who's second. Nick Kendi, third. Kip Silver point fourth. The ninth uh, team is in fifth. Rose, sixth. Riley Houston, seventh. Uh, Brad Chesson, eighth. Kirby, ninth. And Ryan Butcher, tenth. And Bouchard out in front. Hoping to get redemption. I don't know how Ferrari fell off so quickly. Yeah, but they just did. Bouchard is last in points. He's tied with Stephen Oaks. But Stephen Oaks appears to have the tiebreaker. Yeah, the fifth place, wait, I say sixth. Fifth place. Stephen Oaks finished in fifth. Who so is now sixth right now. Yeah, Bouchard's best finish was a sixth place finish at the Australian Grand Prix. For the others, it's Dexter Black, 11th, Joshua Harrison, Max Anderson, Chris Kyle, Riley Hughes, and Jr., Snow Chaser, Tony Green, and Blaze Zibitar. Big lead for Bouchard. Well, not that big, but more than a second. When it comes to team points, or that the Constructors' Championship. Now McLaren leads uh, Red Bull, then Mercedes. Toro Rosso, Haas, Williams, Force India, Sauber, Renault, and then Ferrari in last. Ferrari's very behind. They have scored 31 points. Riley, uh, I'll say Riley Houston for some reason. Renault team, who's ninth, has scored 60 points. You see, there's a huge, huge difference between the two teams. Ninth and tenth. Big lead, really big lead. Now you can really call it a big lead. Three seconds. As of now, the fastest lap appears to be a minute 19.465. Yep, 465 is the fastest lap. I believe that's one of the drivers at the back. There we go. That's a uh, snow chaser's lap. Well, Bouchard wins this race. He won't be last anymore. He'll jump in the points. The huge leap. Dexter Black is now in third. The Force India team, who looked un well, I wouldn't say unstoppable, but they had a lot of had. I can't speak. But yeah, they're pretty consistent. Both their drivers are kind of both their drivers last season. Yeah, they were able to clinch the constructors. But they couldn't catch Aaron John Steele in the Drivers' Championship. That three races to catch up, but uh, could just could not do it. Now, so far this season, the way it's going, it looks like Force India will not have a chance at either. Or I wouldn't say not have a chance, but they don't seem to have it compared to last season. But anything is... Not possible. I mean, we've got a Ferrari leading, we've got a Haas car in second, again. And we've got Dexter Black in third. So yeah, crazy how Riley Houston's only points paying uh, finish was second. It's either second or nothing. He has not got the fastest lap. He's not finished third or fourth or all the way down to tenth. That's crazy. The three races. He scored points in, and yet he is uh, top 10 in points. Yep, he is 7th in points right now, so he's top 10 in points, but he's only scored uh, points in 3 races, but those were really good finishes. So, uh, 
first three races he didn't score anything as Dexter Black now tries to make a pass on him. And then he got his first uh, points being position at the Spanish Grand Prix, he finished second there. Then the next two races he didn't score any points. And then Austria second, Bristol, uh, yeah, Bristol again. And then British Grand Prix, another second place finish. Two in a row. Now, second pays a lot, pays quite a bit. But of course, you know you want that victory. Currently in third. Oh, he really finished. So that's still another podium finish. So he'll keep the podium uh, streak going along when it comes to points, paying for positions at least. As uh, Nick Kennedy now closing in, Stefan Oaks has dropped to fifth, but he's slowly inching his way back to the top. A little bit of a disadvantage here as drives behind him have DRS. He does not. There is Bouchard almost, oh, more than a, a four and a half second lead for the Ferrari. Looks like they brought into a good car once again. Just hoping it doesn't uh, go to shit, you could say. Three way battle for second, still going on. Riley Houston hangs on, or he gets it back. Fisher who's second in points behind Josh King currently Josh King is 10th so Fisher right now would be the points leader uh, I believe where they sit should be where's third place I have no idea where third is up there okay that's the Kennedy who is fourth so it's either good. it could be the Kennedy 12 points for fourth place. Now over almost a six second lead. It's a six second lead now. Last season we had a driver, the leader, get up to a really big lead, almost 10 seconds. But then the second place, Darren John Steele, who won this race last season, was able to make up all that ground and win the race. And that was his only win that season. Yep, Bouchard enjoying this. Nice, comfortable lead. Really comfy lead. He's on cruise control right now. Valley Houston still in second. Another potential second place finish. It looks like it. They'll probably jump to fourth in the point standings because he is only, I think, a point behind uh, sixth place and fifth place. Fifth place is tied right now. He might even jump to a fourth too. Kip Silver Point is currently seventh. Seven place only scoring six points there. Maybe not the fourth. As Dexter Black goes around him, lets him go. Take a look from his view. Bouchard is just enjoying this. The season he's had so far. He's just crossing his fingers. The entire Ferrari team is crossing their fingers right now because man they're having such a good run again. They're out to a huge lead. 
And how many laps we have left? We got seven laps remaining here in the German Grand Prix. There is second and third. This is Mercedes' uh, hometown, their home track, and right now Brad Cheston is 19th. Ryan Butcher is now down to 17th. Not a good show for them. Not what you want to perform or do in, in front of your uh, home track. The Kennedys jumped to second. Now McLaren is on the move. But a 10 second lead here. Our points leader has dropped the most spots. Or second most actually, Joshua Harrison. He's dropped 6 spots. Fisher has gained the most right now. He's up 9 spots. Currently in 7th. Yeah, that Red Bull team. Yep, Red Bull is the only team as of now. Or actually, yeah, well, I mean. Yes, Red Bull team is the only team to score points in every single race. I think they, they uh, did that last season too. But no wins. But this time they already got two. And, uh, yeah, with uh, Charles Kirby actually, well, 14th. He's not too far out of points. And Remy and Fisher in 7th. Cause to go for the driver's title as well. Definitely. Everyone still has a chance to win the driver's title. Some just have a better chance, of course. Stepanooks is dropping back. He's now down to 7th. Well. He probably s maybe still be in last. Especially where Bouchard is right now. As he is uh, uh, second last, I believe. Well, he's fighting for fifth at least. Still fighting for a top five. Not a podium, but a top five. Fastest lap is by who? A minute 19, 103. Oh, someone just hit the Panasonic sign. Minute 19, 103. Who's got that lap? Oh, it's Max Anderson for Renault. He's currently in ninth. So, as of now, he'll get the extra point. Riley Houston has dropped all the way to 10th place. Stepan Oaks has dropped to 12th. I think there was an incident. I think one of them knocked the uh, Panasonic sign. That might explain it. So, Riley Houston uh, in 10th. Final points paying position. That'll be his first time not finishing second. Or not scoring points. But here he goes. Gonna go around Max Anderson. Go up to nine. Look at this. Pack of cars three wide. Houston Jr. trying to squeeze his way through. Too shallow. Have the back out. Alexander Rowe. He's currently second. The Williams team. Yeah, they won a race last season. They have not scored a victory yet so far, but they've had really good runs with Alexander Rowe. Uh, not so much for a snow chaser. But yep, Alexander Rowe's best finish was second. And finishing third in the British Grand Prix. He's currently on a three race point streak. Lovely for his fourth and his second, second place finish and his third podium finish. Yeah, Snow Chaser, the second Williams car, has only scored points three times. And one of them was for just the fastest lap, not even a top ten. But still got the point. It's a big deficit to make up, Alexander Rowe. But another podium finish. I don't think Alexander Rowe will complain at all. 
They're currently sixth in points, tied with the Haas team in fifth. Yeah, both of those teams doing equally decent enough, or at least trying to be top five. As we're approaching the three lap to go, Mark. Bouchard for Ferrari. Oh, man. Can they do it? Can Bouchard hang on? Oh wow, look at that. Alex in a row. A minute 18, 7 to 8. My god, that Williams is closing. Well, uh, Williams is also powered by Mercedes, so... Maybe not too bad for Mercedes in general. Doesn't have a lot of time though. Could still try, of course. Give both these teams a huge boost in the both the drivers and the constructors. Houston and Oaks are now 11th and 12th. Uh, they're just having such a good race. Josh King is third. Dexter Black, Max Anderson, Nick Kennedy, Raleigh Houston Jr., Kip Silverpoint, Randy Fisher, Blazy Vitar. So both the Tor Russos, the McLaren. So two teams have both their cars in points. As we're, and we now have two laps to go. That's under five seconds. I don't know. I don't think he can do it. I don't think Bouchard has anything to worry about. Even though Alex Zanaro is closing in at a very, very fast rate. Take a look at one of the onboard cams out of like the million that this car has. Four seconds. It's got one lap to make up four seconds. I don't know if he can do it. I don't think so. Tony Green, he's up to top into 10th. They might get Ferrari, both cars. Kept several points, dropped to 11th. So it'll be a double rebound for the for Ferrari. Possibly. Still got one more lap. Uh, no, I don't think so. He needs just a couple more laps to catch up. Still impressive that he's able to cut the lead down. And he'll get that extra point, so he'll score 19 points today. Unless one of them gets it on the last lap, but... Minute 18. A very quick lap. There's Josh King, Max Anderson in fourth. Let's see if we can deny our points leader a podium finish. Oh yeah, this is Bouchard's win. He was he's gonna cruise to a victory today. Final sets of turns. Here we go. Daniel Bouchard is going to win the German Grand Prix. Ferrari back on top. Checker flag. Bouchard wins the German Grand Prix. Alexander Rowe will earn his third podium finish of the season. Two in a row. Our points leader, Josh King, will take third. He scores the final podium spot. There's the rest of the field now coming. And uh, Chris, our, again, our winner, our British Grand Prix winner, finishes last today. Ouch. Alright, so.
close out the scoreboard here or the leaderboard so all right ferrari has won it finally some something a, a big break for ferrari daniel bouchard a winner today uh, alexander rowe second josh king third anderson fourth dexter black fifth nick kennedy sixth Raleigh Houston Jr. 7th, Blazy Badar 8th, Raven Fisher 9th, and Kip Silver Point 10th. So, uh, looks like. Ah. Uh, so, Toro Rosso and McLaren, so only two teams score points for both cars. So, both cars score points. Raleigh Houston, well, is either second and nothing, and looks like today it's nothing. 11th for him. Uh, Tony Green fell back at the end, could not get Ferrari. Uh, both uh, have both Ferraris get points. Uh, Charles Gerby, the second Red Bull car, not a great day for him. He finishes 13th. Stepan Oaks, 14th. Snow Chaser, 15th. Brad Chesson, Ryan Butcher, Matt Mercedes. This is a race they definitely want to forget, especially at their home track. Joshua Harrison, another terrible finish for him. Chris Kyle, another one for him. Diff uh, totally opposite of his teammate. And Yev has mentioned. The nine team who won the British Grand Prix ends up finishing last today. So let's see, Sauber Mercedes and yeah, Sauber Mercedes. Those two do not score any points at all. So yep, that is it for the uh, German Grand Prix, and our next race will be at the Nurburgring. Not the entire thing, of course, for the Eiffel Grand Prix. And I believe that'll be our 10th race of the season. So yeah, we'll see you there. Daniel Bouchard for Ferrari, the race winner today.